And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You know who it is. The most consistently inconsistent podcast out there. Of course, your favorite, Canon Culture. I'm here with my host, Mr. DJ Son and Mr. Plank. Now, we had a couple of technical issues uh, just before the start of this podcast. So, uh, you know, this is this is the impromptu intro. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. So I used to have one over here, one in the center, and then one on the right. But because of where my... My setup is positioned like I'm up against a wall. And then like my bed is on the other side of here. So I keep my green screen deployed at all times. So you know, you know, when you got when you got a lady coming over, she'd be like, Ooh, you a YouTuber? I'd be like, Yeah, you know, I got, I got the green screen or whatever. I'm and she'd be like, Oh, we should make videos sum, sometime. Sum. Yeah, a little some some. She's like, Oh, we should make videos sometime. No, we should. No, we should. So, you know Only videos going on the fans. No yes, care. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only videos going on the fans. So anyway, um, but yeah, man, I thought about, I thought about hanging it up this week. Um, I'm probably gonna, depending on how the rest of this week goes. So I'm gonna be a little bit more consistent for the next two weeks. Uh, depending on how that trial goes for the rest of the month, that'll determine what I decide to do. Uh, but what I'm thinking I might do, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, just call it a day, man. Just hang up the coat. Mm. And just oh, yeah, uh, I've yeah. been thinking about doing that too, honestly. But uh, what DJ, I'm gonna give what? it a little bit more time. DJ, you just said, How am I gonna blow my Twitch channel up? Yeah, I know that's why I'm gonna give it a little more time. Okay. I'm not gonna hang it up right now, like, I'm, I'm gonna actually give it uh, some more time though. So, before I think about throwing it in the towel, so I'm gonna give it like maybe like a year, another year, another year. Yeah, I don't got another yeah. year, man. It, I probably don't either, in all honesty, but it, that, that's pushing it. It's interesting because as I get older, I only accumulate more connections and more responsibilities and stuff. And eventually, uh, one of these girls going to trap me, bro. One of these girls yeah. going to trap me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be stuck in it and I'll be taking kids to soccer practice and daycare and all this other stuff. You can't be a can't be a full time content creator and have a job and, and have a full time job and a half and take care of you know a child and a whole nother person you just can't do it you can vlog it i'm cool man I'm that's cool. true and I'm then cool. you could have a terrible marriage true exactly and then you can post a divorce video we broke up <laughs> we broke up with the heart uh, and, and broken in, in half or whatever yeah for sure put the heart emojis right in the crying face 10 million views right there yeah uh, sure there you 100%. go percent there you go and then you know people love to watch them videos people can, love to, to, to watch miserable stuff and then i can make a video with my face like this exactly and it's like exactly. uh the caption's gonna be my wife has an only my ex-wife has an only fans <laughs> and you gotta have her <laughs> phone you gotta photoshop her picture into a phone yeah for the thumbnail and yeah next to your head. and i just be like oh my god Telling you. yeah for sure for million sure. views easy million, <laughs> views. million million hit video man i'm thinking about million it. hit video but no nah, i um I was talking about it with, with some people in my Discord over the weekend, and they were like, oh, why not just start a new channel? I'm like, bro, I've been making videos for 10 plus years now. I'm not trying to make another channel. I've had to make another channel five times already. I'm cool. I'm not trying to do that no more. That's not the that's not the, the situation I'm trying to operate with at all, by any means. So I either make this work or, you know. I just got to figure something else out. You quit. You know, yeah. I it's, hard, quit. it's hard to, like, start from nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, when you got something and you want to make another channel or whatever and do something else. And then it's like, you got to think about building that clientele all the way back up to yeah. where it's at right now. Not only that. That's like six six to ten years of, of hard work. Yeah, not only that, there's new tools and stuff that you can utilize that do that not only make it easier, but also make it harder. That's why I don't, like, put... Uh, TikTok clips up of the podcast and stuff like that. That should take too long. That's just that's too too tiring. It's it's irritating. I don't have I don't have the time or the mental like fortitude to sit there and do it for like hours. It's like you have day. to like, edit a yeah. TikTok video for real. Yeah. Like you have to edit a TikTok video like you would a YouTube video. Yeah. Because it's like not... a bunch of content creators on TikTok that's like doing their thing, bro. Like for real, for real. Yeah. So. I'm not. I'm not fully. Uh, committed to trying to do all that because i mean I, it'll it'll work sure if i decided to you know take my time and really give it like 
a thousand percent of my effort, but I just don't have the energy anymore because uh, I've been doing it for so long. It's like that's all my energy was in the beginning. All my energy was in the first four or five years of this shit. So I don't I don't really be feeling it. So and not only that, we were watching a video about uh, who was that we were watching playing the two about black dudes. Oh, Abba and Preach. Yeah, and uh, they were breaking down a lot of, like, King Batch's Vine videos and, you know, the history of, like, you know, black people, you know, cooning out for a check and shit like that. Mm. And I, I was, I really sat and I thought about it. I was like, yeah, because there, there are people that I personally know that go viral all the time. You know what I mean? Like, and they kind of shuck and jive in a, in a way, but I just never have gotten into that mental space of doing that, um, where I could just, like, I don't. Just toss, I don't think I could do it. Toss that thought process I don't think out. I could do it. You don't think so? Like, it's, it, it's different if somebody presents you a check. Like, yo, hey, I'm going to give you five racks to do this. Then it's like, okay, I'm doing this for this five racks. But right. if you're going to be just extra, not knowing if you're going to get the payoff for it, and then what if you don't get the payoff for it? Then everybody looking at you like, so this is what you do? Like, because King, ba King Bach wasn't funny at all to me. I don't hmm. think he was funny at all. The only thing, the funniest thing he did was the Denzel thing. Mm. That's it. That's mm. all. That's all he had. That's that's literally all he had. The, all the rest of his stuff is like, white, jokes white people make about black people and right, that he made right. mind about. That's literally it. Yeah, and so, I, I, I was uh, I was talking to Plank about how, uh, you know, a lot of uh, black creators on TikTok really feel that they're being suppressed and like you know they're not getting the views that their white counterparts are and yada yada yada. But they're also not I think, taking I into account. I think it's account. like that for every platform. Not I'm just sorry, that. Okay. Not just that. But also, you have to take into account. It's the same thing with Vine. The the users actually using this app. It's white teenagers. White teenagers don't wanna don't wanna go on there and have white guilt. They don't wanna go on there and see like all these black people thriving and stuff like that. And it's not only that. It's not even out of malice. It's just they don't watch those creators. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't happen. So when you see like you know a black girl will make a dance and then. You know, Charlie D'Amelio will make uh, will copy the same dance and then just blow up and then get checks off of it with no with no credit that's whatsoever. Crazy. It's just like that's how it works. That's how it. You know, the white kids will carry you into into the next dimension. They will. That's crazy. So man. if you're not if you're yeah. not vibing with the white teenagers, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. So. What happens? Yeah, and I've never really been been one to like. Multi do multi-platform shit anyway i've just kind of always just been like oh let me make a youtube video stream on twitch a little bit post uh, two three things here on instagram and, and you know and twitter i don't really be trying to like go out of but i guess i guess that's probably why i'm not as far as i think i should be because i'm not utilizing these other platforms but i don't know i don't know it's to be it could be a lot of things yeah it could really. i think it's consistency but that's just because that's what I struggle with too. You ain't uh, consistent, uh, Negro. Yeah, that's yeah, what, no. that's what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say. Not at all. It's too much work. Yeah, so I'm like that too. I'm I'm like that too. I'm surprised I've been as consistent as I have with Twitch streams. So that's only because like, you the, what you ain't got nothing else to do in the morning. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to do all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then it's like I, it's easier for me to cut a stream on rather than me sit down and be like, all right, what video I'm gonna make today. Yeah. Mm. You don't, you never know where the, the bullseye is with YouTube. That's the thing. But when you throw up a Twitch stream, you get raided by anyone or whatever with some luck, different... That is pure luck. Uh, but that's some sometimes well, on, on the smaller level, that's how you make connections, right? That's not yeah. that's necessarily networking, but it's that, that level of like, hey, let's get to know each other. Let's let's feel it out. Hey, you're a streamer. I'm a streamer. Let's Let's yeah. join communities or whatever. Whatever, like, sub-level of communication that is. Like, I had somebody new uh, come in when I was streaming Hellblade today, and he followed. And I was like, okay, that's that's kind of dope. So it's yeah. just like, uh, not like, that's not a raid thing, but it's like, when you play different stuff, you have a bigger opportunity of, like, getting uh, a following from those different games that you play, rather than me just sitting and playing Valorant for four, four to six hours. I can do a mix of stuff, like mix and match or whatever i think of, i think variety streaming for me is the way to go especially single player games because i'll be you sucking wasn't, at shooters so. yeah you wasn't feeling that this morning when you were talking about it feeling what um 
because when I was like, oh man, DJ, like it's good to see you're actually, you know, you know, doing something different. You're like, yeah, you know, people in the chat wanted me to do it. You know. Oh no, that I'm was like, just no, that was just my it. response. Ah, that okay, was just my okay. response. Like, yeah, that what I said now is what I really think about it. Mm. So, and I was focused on the puzzle, so you can't be asking me questions when I'm trying. Yeah, to true, get a puzzle true. Done. Yeah, because my know, brain is already. It's it's a lot. It's I know. I'm man. a little I'm a little upset. You rushed through Resident Evil Eight so damn fast. Yeah, that was me a too, that was honestly, a fast first because playthrough. Because now I want to play it again. So mm. you did a I six hour run. You did a six hour playthrough. Yeah. When the game, it took me, I did, I didn't get every puzzle, but I got uh, a lot of puzzles. I cleared out the village. It took me about eight hours to do all that. No, yeah, I might, I might, uh, I very well may start that up again mm -hmm. and just take my time with it. There was a lot of shit you missed. Yeah, but I was too interested in the story to be, I, like, I was trying to get to the next part. So now that I know what happens, like now, I'm like, I'm, okay, I can take my time with it. Like, I can he was go immersed here in again. the story, and he said, all right, I'll exactly. come back later. Yeah, like, I ain't want to do no, it's like when, when the main story's so good, you, I ain't trying to do no side quests. I want to know who, who dies next. That's what I want to see. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, hey, it is what it is. But I I'm going to start that back up, though. I, I can't, I can't play that game. That game's not for me. Uh, I like Resident watching Evil? it. That's yeah, yeah, you yeah. keep watching people play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what it is. But, but, not only that, uh, the more I see of it, the less I feel like I have to play, number one. And it's just not my, it's just not my cup of tea right now. Now, I will sit down and play Disgaea for fucking 10 hours straight in a day, <laughs> grinding the same three or four levels out. Well, okay, so let me explain this for people who that's don't that know. Monster hunt, that's that Monster Hunter attitude. Yeah, so let me explain to people. So I've already beaten the game about nine times, right? The game has a total of, I think, 14 different, well, 14 similar endings, but it's like 14 endings. And I only have nine out of those 14. Now, there is like this giant, mega, unbeatable boss in the game, right? Where literally the second you step foot on his stage, you, you die. Instant, instant kill. So, and I'm at like, I have like maybe like a 20 or 30 characters that are all like maxed out. Like they're level. But you can, their stats aren't maxed. So you can like go through the game and like grind certain enemies and stuff like that and like get unlocks and different items and then you can level up those items and then you can level up the level ups for those items so uh, i was seeing like a legitimate uh how to beat this boss legitimately and it takes like 800 hours of grinding so i was like all right bet i gotta beat this boss i think i'm at like 300 hours in the game i have to look i have to see how many hours i am in it Jesus. that's see. dedication yeah i'm 327 hours into this game so i can't do it and I'm not even, like, I still, I, I'm thinking, like, oh, I can beat this boss. Like, I, my character is at 9,999. He can't get any higher unless you, like, reincarnate that character. The second I step on the stage, he still kills me. So he does, like, 100 million damage or something. Like, it, it has not made a difference in the last 100 hours, basically. So I still have, like, a lot more grinding to do. But, I mean, it's a, sim a sense of accomplishment in this game. Like, I'm just trying to beat it just to say I beat it, you know? I don't Plus, mm. every other game is kind of boring to me. So if I'm sitting here playing a JRPG and there's funny jokes in between every single fight and stuff like that, I'm definitely enjoying that over playing Resident Evil 8, and, you know? But that's just me, so... You know, it is what it is. But there hasn't been a whole lot of games to come out lately that have impressed me anyway, so... Me either. You weren't impressed with Near Replicant? Um, I only played the first six hours, and I was on stream. I haven't gone back to to play it since because uh, I only put out the first video, which didn't do that well. I'm actually very disappointed that video didn't do well. Um, I mean it did regular numbers, but it didn't do the numbers that I thought it was gonna do. I don't know what I was thinking it was gonna do, but what it did was definitely not it. So, um, hold on, let me actually pull it up right now. So let's see. Yeah, and I lost another ten subs yesterday. So yeah, I got the stream chat up, and anime said bisexual lights. What yes, does sir. that even mean? Uh, I was scared to read that one out loud. So. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, well, I, I just did it. So. Yeah, good job. I, I don't know what that <laughs> means. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Like one, are... like different, different one, red, one blue. I don't, I don't They're know. opposite. The, today's, today's just yeah. a regular, 
regular podcast day, so she's just commenting on some cute shit that she oh, sees. Oh, okay, okay. She thinks you're cute confused. anyway, so you good. She love you. She said you're I'm you're weak. her favorite host on the show, which is very interesting. I didn't favorite think host. Like yeah. She said I don't really, even be host. Uh, yeah, out of all of us, she said you're her favorite. I thought I was still on janitorial duty. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. You are. I mean, you are, but I'm not you know, listening. Now. High level janitorial. Yeah, oh, senior janitor. Senior executive of the West Wing. Yes, sir. Of the West senior, Wing. Of the West Wing. <laughs> of the West, the West Wing. Wing. Why can't I be over the whole building? That's, well, you can. It's a big yet. building. Yeah. It's a big building. You know. Hand, That's fine. First of all, put the weed in the bag. That's it. Handle that first. Then, then you can do everything else. But until then, put the weed in the bag. Stop asking all these questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you over here talking about I'm gonna be a dope dealer. Nah. No, oh, the not. bisexual flag as the colors. I didn't even know that. Man, it look cute. That's all. You got the you got the yellow. You got the red. You got pink, purple, blue. I yeah. ain't even. I ain't even know. Hey, man, listen, you living different now. Um. Anyway, yeah, this video was shit. So uh, I wasn't really happy with the engagement. Although it did get a lot more comments than I thought. Um, I had ex girlfriends on the on in the comment section, so you know I had to block them because you know they they see your boy working. <laughs> nah, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. You start seeing people that you you know intimately like that, and they commenting on your stuff. That mean they watching you. They watching mm. you very closely. They watching every move, which means if you okay. say something you're not supposed to say, they gonna hear it. So on a near replicant video. On a it's near replicant strange. video, yes sir, yes sir. Would it be too much to ask what this person said? No, it is too much to ask. Don't ask. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah don't okay. ask. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even. I'm not gonna ask. Don't even bother. So, um, but yeah, the video didn't do very well. I thought it was at least gonna clear 300 views, um, which is very, very insignificant compared to the amount of subscribers I have. But I also think that, like DJ said, that comes down to a consistency issue. So, um, but I've mm. already said, you know, now that the pandemic is ending and then once comedy clubs start officially like opening opening back up i'm going back to stand-up comedy bro i'm tired of being funny for free this shit is just not sitting well with me and uh i gotta get a bag bro i'm about to be i'm about to be really uh throwing it back on the tl so so what yes sir i'm about to be throwing it back on the timeline i don't know if you caught that but yes i'm gonna be throwing i'm gonna be throwing that butt um <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna be throwing it back on uh on the timeline just because you know your boy gotta get it back and i'm tired I, I see what god do for everybody else god has a chosen few um he really got favorites so mm. you know but uh let anyway. me know when you start doing that so i can mute there oh. you go yeah for sure i appreciate yeah, you, I'm, I'm gonna mute you yeah i'm yeah, gonna mute yeah. you on the timeline yeah i got you don't worry don't worry um, but yeah, we don't really have much to talk about. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys we already started the podcast. I totally, I oh. just hit, I just hit start streaming, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I feel like I get the best out of you know just regular schmegular conversation. You know what I mean? So I agree. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a couple of these questions. We don't have too many, um, and then I need to peek into the archive because I think we only got like six or seven. Yeah, we only got six. Um, Elon Musk tanky, tanking Dogecoin on SNL. Oh, uh, thoughts and opinions, boys. Don't remind me. Here we go. I don't, don't think he's ever me. going to front of look a camera. Right 46 cents? Yeah, I'm getting fucked over right now, bro. Yeah, nah. he, don't need over. he don't need stuff front of, in front of a camera ever again. And that, Did you see that Wario suit? They lost me seven. Did y'all see that? Yeah, that was fucking bad. The, that he, whole show he was, was bad. On, he was on SNL in a Wario suit. I don't know. I think and they SNL wonder why it tanked. They wonder SNL why those was going to tank. Not good anymore. I guess he's supposed to be a super villain. I guess that is that that wasn't funny. No, uh, no, the, it was like it a wasn't trial. Funny, bro. It was a case. Like yeah, they were doing a case. a case for Wario because I think one of the Peach slept with someone else or whatever, and they were on trial for it. Man, the whole uh, where what's the context for this? Because normally SNL is usually riffing off of stuff that's happening in real life. This is. This ain't seems happening. like yeah. This seems so kind of out of the blue. About. Yeah, I mean, I guess yeah. They could have come up with another pandemic sketch, so I'm sure that would have been something. That's I don't right. know. I, SNL work. Yeah, it is, uh, bro. Uh, I, I, you know what, man? I'm tired of this. I, I don't like that he fucked up the bag. 
I really don't like that by the time I even told you this plank, I said by the time I Robin Hood actually goes through for me, Doge is gonna go down. Doge is gonna tank. And yeah. I and it just seems so very conveniently timed that as soon as I invest a very large amount of money in a cryptocurrency, mm. <laughs> this guy decides to say something and just tank the stock. Just just tank the whole thing. Why you didn't do that before I invested, bro? Why? Why? That's why I only threw like forty dollars at it, and I said I'm gonna just wait. Oh man, that's too much. That's that's still too much money. I I, I threw fifty at it, and I lost. I'm losing six right now. Oh losing six dollars. You see what they said about the SpaceX thing, though, right? Oh yeah, that shit the, is. Uh, they're launching. What the, is that gonna do for anyone? The Doge the satellite. Moon. I mean, going to Doge the is yeah. Doge is funding it apparently. He, he so. said Doge was going to the moon, and he did not say it was a fucking satellite paid for by yeah. people who got scammed. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm just a little salty about it. So I'm gonna keep. I yeah. if I take my money out, I technically lose money. So I just gotta sit I'm on it and wait. wait. Yeah. There's there's still hope. I'm gonna just wait. Yeah, um, I agree. I was really sitting on it thinking, yo, what if this is the next Bitcoin and we just now getting in on it? Like, this is empire level money. You know what I mean? Like, like imagine getting in Bitcoin at a sixth of a cent. And how much is it now? 32, 32 G's? It's like 50. It's like 50? Yeah, I, think, I thought it was like 58. No, it, it went down significantly. It's like 52, 50. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Hold on, let me check. I'll check right now. Fifty-five three. Oh my God! Fifty-five thousand dollars, three hundred and twenty-three. Woo! Yeah, so I think I think it was at fifty-eight then when I first when I last saw it. Yeah, nah. Imagine 55, getting it at, at a fifty-five five at fucking zero point zero zero three cents and sell. Yo, I was I was hoping this was gonna be it. I was hoping this was gonna be my way. I would be like, all right, God, I really hope, appreciate though. you. I mean, I guess. there's still hope, hope to though. recoup. I don't think exactly. there's much hope to to make a significant profit. Yeah, unless you've hey, got man, in very I'm, early. I'm banking on these MLB teams. I'm banking on the SpaceX program. You're banking, banking on a lot on of things that, that don't seem to matter. I I'm, mean, I, so I'm, far I've only really invested just money I can afford to lose, and you know, like yeah. it's like gambling. Like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's I don't know. I can't really. That's why I only threw like forty dollars at. I spend forty dollars like anywhere. Yeah. So at Subway, just that, just last happened. week. So I get you. I get you. Yeah. But anyway, today's a pretty pretty boring podcast. Pretty smooth. Uh, somebody said why the janitor must be stopped. Honestly, man, oh. I'm gonna tell you right now. DJ was horny on the timeline a couple weeks ago, and I'm over it. I'm over it. We've established that you could be horny on the timeline outside of the hours of what was it? 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Your local correct. time? Yeah. I mean, and ever since we've established that rule, ever since we've really come up with that, I've been on the timeline liking all sorts of stuff I'm not supposed to. God, God help the people that see my likes because <laughs> once 6 p.m. hits, oh, I'm liking everything. Oh my God. I, I had a, uh, I had a very, very significantly filled second account, okay, just for not safe for work content. I don't need, to, I don't need to be on a DL anymore. I could openly like stuff on the timeline now. That I, the truth has really set me free. All right, this this work schedule shit has really, really set me free, and I love it. I love it. I will never. But will what? Never how was it. I caught? Where was I caught? Oh, so you were caught. Uh, hold on. I don't have the screenshots. I think Darth had the screenshot. It's it's hold a on. Twitch clip of him looking at oh, the hot yeah, tub. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The oh, hot tub man. stream. Now, I will say I understand. Uh, that's actually a very interesting topic I want to talk about. Um, I will. I do understand like people being upset about hot tub streamers, right? Because they feel yeah. like, oh, it's taking away audiences and stuff like that. I feel like hot tub streaming is almost viewed differently as titty streaming. Because when you poke the camera down at an angle and you wear certain suggestive clothing and things like that, it's like you're trying to imply something. With the hot tub stream, it's already there. It's out in the opening. You know, you busting yeah. it on cam. 
You know what I mean? So it's less, it, it feels less shady to me. It feels like you're not trying to finesse the system. You're just using the system that is currently in place. So, hmm. you know, if you want to play Apex while you're in a hot tub, more power to you, sister. Go on and do your damn thing. Honestly, if I had enough room you know in my crazy? apartment for a hot tub, I'd put one. You know what's crazy? I saw a, a girl playing Valorant, right? Valorant oh, yeah. was the size of the camera, and her full screen was like it was like she flipped it like the camera border was the game it was just like super tiny screen, yeah right. but the full screen was her and you she had them boys was was booming out just i out. can imagine dj was, was upset. Like, he said bitch i'm trying to see the gameplay i was trying to see some val bro like i didn't uh, you oh. in the just chatting section she switched to just chatting and she playing valorant but it's just her <laughs> Where, I, yikes i'm confused yikes. i'm just i'm just, i'm confused and then when people be thirsty in the chat they got the audacity to get upset bro look just what you're doing just don't give her your money bro like that's look it, what you're doing no no Man. it's not even them because you know they're gonna come yeah you know yeah. they're gonna come mm -hmm. if somebody is on twitch right and they looking down the thing and they see your breasts in the thumbnail you think that the thirsty man not gonna click i saw she that's was what you Valorant. think that's why i clicked she was playing Valorant. Yeah. yeah. No, no. The Valorant. I clicked for Valorant. I, miss, I didn't. She was. She wasn't all up in the thumbnail when I clicked it. I missed a couple it, of years ago when I was able to uh, see cosplayers. Well, actually, people who are good at Overwatch cosplaying a character, and they would play that character for the whole stream. That's that. I mean, that was dope. Like there was this girl who was a bikini May, and she was playing May. You know, in Overwatch the whole time. I was like, oh shit, why yo? But now we don't, we don't have stuff like that no more. They just be getting naked. They just be getting butterball naked right there on. I Twitch. just want, I just want to like, I just want to ask, bro. Like, if the thirsty man comes to the stream and you are upset that the thirsty man is in the stream and you upset at what the thirsty man is saying in the stream with his whole army of dehydration behind him saying right, the right. same thing, right, right. You knew this was coming because of what you chose to wear on stream. Is that right? Is that wrong to say? Uh, yes, it is. How's that wrong to say? It is because, uh, number one, it's it's her specific platform. If a thirsty man comes comes being dehydrated in the chat, of course, she immediately has to ban that person. 100%. But that's like saying... Because you wore a certain thing out of the house, that's why you were raped. No, that's, that's the equivalent. Like, no, no, that's no, the no, equivalent, no, 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 though. That, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> that's that's Whoa. the equivalent. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. That's why okay, I so disagree. What, we, we, what I'm saying is not the sort. You can okay, maybe not rape. Maybe day. not. You maybe can not rape. You can ban somebody all day. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's fine. Much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a little much. Maybe uh, you were harassed by those construction workers down the street baby girl because no. of what you wore that's what you're saying that's literally the no. exact same thing this man is thirsty i'm saying i'm okay that i worded that wrong what i'm saying is all right go ahead go ahead if you if you are arguing with somebody in your chat because uh -huh. of what they said about what you are wearing on stream uh-huh like why mm -hmm. why even do that so he's like, not only why, why he's not there... only thirsty he's angry no, he is thirsty. That's oh, why he okay. said what he said. Oh, okay. But now it's turned into an argument because you going at him for what he said and he going at you because of what you chose to wear. Why are you mad and I'm acting this way? Because I'm looking at you like this, pretty much. There are people... I've seen it happen in Twitch chats. I've seen it happen. It's crazy. I. It's crazy. I don't understand. Maybe as, maybe as a member of the BBC gang, I don't have these issues because I don't conspire against women unfortunately but i mean if a young lady has her nib knobs out you know and she hanging out on twitch you know getting a bag yep. i mean what is what's the issue i said that's they pr that's that's their prerogative that's the, whatever yeah. they want to do that's that's whatever they want to do you go ahead you make your paper but all i'm saying is there is like a stigma behind like I can't believe this is happening on Twitch. And it's like, some of it you see, and it's like, 
I, how is this not TOS? Mm -hmm. But some of it is like they finessing the 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 the, uh, the terms of servers, or they finessing the platform to make it just this much in in the rules where they don't get banned. Now I will say, I agree, but I don't agree at the same time. I think hot tub streaming is fine. Body paint streaming is not okay. 100% not okay. Yeah, because the girl naked. Yeah. The she, girl naked. Yo, I was watching this broad on, <laughs> on a clip. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's how I say it. That's how I truly feel. You got to be a broad. <laughs> I was watching this broad. She came out and she said, okay, I'm going to take my bikini off now. And she turned around. She took it off. You know what I mean? And then she, she began to body paint ass hanging out you know what i mean i gotta see if i can find this clip she ain't had no bottoms on either so just bare ass hanging out right and so she puts on just enough body paint to where the nipple is now sort of camouflage and she turn around breast this is all out all of it just busting it wide open and i said lord you really really got some favorites don't you you really just I could, I could just tell something was wrong here. And she wasn't banned. She was not banned. So I'm Tell just, me. I'm confused. I think that's what more people are upset about. But they're, uh, they're also, you know, the few that are just like, oh, you're taking away from my, from my stream. My, my nine viewers are going to watch hot tub streamers. Like, you know, it's, it's petty motherfuckers like that. They're out here. So I think it's a combination of both. When I was pulling up the clips on Twitch, I was trying to figure out what the, what the difference in content was mm -hmm. between this hot tub streamer and this hot tub streamer. Like I put them side by side, and I was like trying to really look like what is the difference? They sure. doing the same thing. Sure, sure. They don't. They doing this. It's literally the same stream. That they don't have to talk to you for what? They ain't talking to you for nothing. You gonna sit there? You gonna look at them in a the hot tub and you gonna throw your money to get your name written on the whiteboard. That's that's all the stream is. Now I'm trying to get my name written on the banana. I'm gonna throw a little Honda. The banana. My name the, uh, on one girl banana. had a pickle. She she upgraded. She had a pickle. Oh, one of them had pickle. She had, she had a blow up pickle. Yes, sir. She had pickle a blow Rick. up pickle writing people oh, names. Oh shit! Up. Like an actual. They leveling up. Like a pickle? No, or? like a blown up blow up pickle. Like a like a blow up pickle that floats. A floaty pickle. DJ, was it a penis or or a pickle? A pickle. Oh, it was a pickle. It was oh, green. Oh, oh, okay. Ain't okay. nobody floating on no tip on Twitch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what these women get away with. Hold on, let me. Man, I saw one girl get banned live. You did? Uh -huh. Yes, it did. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Her her profile here to disappear. The stream stopped. I said, Yo, she's out of here. <laughs> That's insane, yo. You know it was what? crazy because it's like the 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 body. It was the, the chick. I'm really about to talk about this girl's body right now. But the the chick the chick. Go, that ahead, I go saw, ahead, go that off. Man. You misogynist. Right. <laughs> no, it's do not and say that. what you got to do. I'm just saying when these girls go to these doctors to mm -hmm. get this work done, you need to go to a doctor that's refer referable and has wow. a, a very uh extensive background. What do you mean by that? Because some of the stuff that some of y'all be getting. What she had done, her leg to like booty ratio, it looked like a chicken leg. Go get a chicken leg right now. You know how the top of the chicken leg got, 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 it's like that big did she, part. Did she have a giant butt but not matching thighs? It wasn't matching. It wasn't oh. matching. The proportionist was all off. So you, and when she moved, it was like everything here, moved. It was just loose. Let me show you something. It was just, it, 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 there was no, nothing was tightened up. Nothing. It was just. You can see it's fake. And I'm like, why would you want to look like that? She had an ass that was like that. And her legs yes, were like this. That's what her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that, that stick, why you do that stick, girl like that? The stick is her leg. And then the top of that, that's her thigh. Just a to, visual representation. You'd be like, visual damn, girl, that's, yes. that's what you got going on back here? That's crazy. And, and if you if move, the, the stick would just, or the chicken would just fall off right, the stick. Right, that's how, right. That's how you got Dr. And Miami like, doing you like this? That's crazy. That's, that's, Dr. That's Miami. Crazy. She she went to like Dr. Columbia or something. <laughs> Some, somewhere over there. Dr. Brazil. I don't know what it was. Uh, that was not it, bro. When you opened the stream, you could tell, bro. You yeah, could tell. Nah, it was nah. it was, I was just distraught. I uh okay, so I guess I guess the question really comes down to do we have an issue with titty streamers? Do we have an issue with hot tub streamers? I uh, don't. No, not really. I don't care. 
Yeah, it's I not know. affecting many people. You know what I wish? It's like I wish we had LTG on the podcast. I want to. I want to hear his thoughts. You know, I feel like I feel like he would he, he would, would say, say some. You know, about these beta male cucks that enjoy watching women put their feet on screen. <laughs> that are giving the money. That are that are get subscribing. They tier three subbing. Maybe tier she three subbing to Pokemon. That yeah. type of stuff. I don't. Mm -mm. It's crazy. I could never it's be crazy, a notice bro. me guy. I just I, I I feel like I exude too much confidence to to be a pick me guy. You know what I mean? I don't need to be. I feel like I don't need to be picked. Cause you know, if I have to subject to, if I have to subject myself to that, I probably wasn't really that. Interested you shouldn't. In the you first shouldn't place. have it. Yeah. You shouldn't have it because if you if you going for a chick, you want to go for a chick that has genuine interest in you too. Just like huh? he, how you got genuine interest in her. We talking long term. We we ain't talking like we ain't talking like I'm gonna check in and play a quarter and then check out the game. That okay. we ain't talking like that. We talking right. long term. If you say so. Are you so you so you want a chick that don't have interest in you? Um. Uh, no, she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. I've dated girls that ha that are almost exact polar opposites of me. And then by that's, the no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Break it He's down. Not, break not it down. share interest. Not share interest. Mm -hmm. I'm interest in you. Oh, they're not interested in me. Not interested. Yeah, in yeah that's you. happened to me before. Yeah, yeah, hundred. Yeah, matter of fact, yeah, that was a girl last. Uh, you know mm. what? Anyway. <laughs> um. Anyway. Um. No, that has happened to me before. Um. On on a few occasions where it was a young lady who was not particularly interested in me. She just was interested in what I could offer because I was somebody who could actually offer her something. Um, so that's a little different. I mean, what's the difference between that and, you know, a woman dating a rich man that she's not interested in? Not much. Not much. Not much, exactly. Except I don't have no bag for you. You going home empty handed. <laughs> I don't I don't feel like I don't feel like I can sit you going there home in the Uber and no well, you going home on the bus. <laughs> what that's the crazy. Fuck? This man said the Hey baby the girl, there's a dollar twenty five for you on the counter. You going <laughs> This man said the mess. He said, get you a bus ticket. Get you a bus pass, baby girl. You better get you a tap card. Shit. I don't... What I used to do was, like, even if, like, a chick... This is going to sound real bad. But nah, go for a, it. Uh, Spit that. Talk that shit. Even, even, if a, even if a chick was not interested, right, I would still try to basically do stuff to, to basically uh, be like, yo... This what it could be. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So oh, you, you tried go, to create so you, interest when there was none. Yeah, you trying to send. Right, right. No, you tried to well, pull a card I mean, out of the hat when there was no cards. There was no hat. There was no bunny. There was no yeah. There was no bunny in that hat, bro. No, there was there was there was bunny. There was a bunny, but it was like I don't know. It was kind of like it was uh, just not rabbit season. I get what you're saying. No, no, no. It was kind of like some people. Some people don't believe that, like, in your potential oh, you, to do. Selena stuff, in the chat said you're like, trying to win her I'm over. Like, let me show you. Yeah, basically. Okay. Basically. Now it's like, cause it's like how you chase a female. You, you, or, or you, you can't say that no more. I'm sorry. You chase a woman. It's like, uh, if you want, if you want a girl, you go after her. <laughs> you chase her. She don't really want you right now. But you try to be like he said. I'm not trying to Yo, be problematic. <laughs> I ain't letting up. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing, right? Now it's like, do you? I do. I have the energy to do that anymore because it's like if if you don't have some sort of interest in me, how horny am I? What am I talking? That too. That too. That, <laughs> how that horny am I? Factor. Yeah, I gotta. That I gotta, plays I, a factor. Has, how how long is it been? On the scale. Well, on the scale. Yeah, give me. In a span you of what? A month? Two months? No, three no, no, months? Get, like one to ten. Yeah, one to ten. How horny are you? You chasing after this woman? You you can't be that horny. No, think, if you chasing, you could be. I couldn't. I couldn't. Sorry, I can't do it. I see, I think that's a personal preference now, though. I can't do it, bro. If she's not initially interested at the beginning, why am I even here? That's my point. Yeah. That's nah. my point. I'm not tier three subbing over a bitch that don't like what? me, bro. That's not. No, tier three, tier three sub is a little much. I ain't never did nothing like that. But what I'm saying is. I have. I've, sure treated, I've treated some tier three subs. Not, not actually on Twitch, but like in real life. You know what I mean? Like, you know, one of my homegirls would be like, hey, can I borrow $100? No, you can't borrow. You can earn. 
you can That's earn. <laughs> but so like, if, um, if you, t- <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard not to laugh. Oh man, yo. Anyway, <laughs> but what my my saying? thing is like right now, like me now, I don't think. I, that, I feel like what you said. It's like if I'm talking to a girl, right, and you don't have genuine interest, why am I even going to give you my time and energy? For what? Yeah, I feel like that's a that's a bit much. Especially when I can go give it to an ugly girl. An ugly girl will probably appreciate it a little bit more. That's true. Then I can remind her true. she's ugly. She can be like, you're an asshole. And then I have an out. You know, I could just dip. So, you know. <laughs> Me. I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Yeah, honestly. So, but, it's, like, it's really not that difficult. I was having a conversation the other day about uh, uh, who who said that. Uh, it was Darth and somebody else said, oh, yeah. No, it was you, DJ. It was you on stream today. And I was talking about, oh, yeah, all you have to do is be funny. That's it. it that any, you, can get, you can get any woman to like you if you're funny. That don't work. Hey, man, you're just not that funny enough. Negro, did you not just hear me explain you, the scenario? You I just was not trying. funny enough, bro. I don't know he what to tell you. No I, there's, I'm gonna tell you right now. Every girl I've ever chased after, the ones that I've never uh, really interacted with like that, were ones that I didn't make laugh. They weren't laughing hard enough. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like they were girls that were too busy running and didn't turn around and hear the joke I had to say while I was chasing. You know what I mean? That sounds a little problematic that I was physically chasing a woman, <laughs> but. They just weren't laughing at the jokes, bro. They just weren't feeling it. They knew the jokes were funny. They knew the jokes were hitting, but they were just like so uninterested. They were like, "Yo, this, I got a dip." So you I can mean, you can still be funny, and then not work. He you said, "Be funny, she's laughing, and then not work." What up, Tony? That happens. Um, someone will be interested, and in you. you don't waste your time trying to win a girl. That's what I was saying. That's what I'm saying. Now that that was what I used to do. What I used to do was try to create interest. Now I don't have the time. Let's I really talk about don't have the Okay, time. let's 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 kind of, you know, take a slight left here. What about long-term investments? Let's talk about that. You know what okay. I mean? Where you're interested in a girl at first, but then, you know, the interest kind of falls off, whether it be her, whether it be you. And you know, y'all cool, y'all y'all friends for a while, and then you know, it kind of sparks back up a few years later. That's a long-term investment, right? Is that still considered chasing a girl like or what are we is that okay no no, no. i don't think you chased her mm. i don't mm. think you chased her it That's was just y'all, lost, y'all lost interest and y'all stayed friends and y'all was cool and then all of a sudden something out popped off one day where you like yo let me see what this about mm. like you wasn't actively like in pursuit of of the girl the whole time mm. Passive. You, I, you think I was passively I, think I was passively yeah chasing. yeah you were passively yeah. i was running right. in the same direction as you Right, she was running with you, cause, cause, cause if, if the interest sparked up, there gotta be two to tango. Right, 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 right. You ain't doing that by yourself. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. I Takes hope one so. to Macarena. I'm not gonna lie to you. Single player sex sucks. It's not fun. It's 100%. not fun at all. So you know. Plus, I think it's illegal. I think it's very illegal. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't I don't know. think that's chasing. I yeah, don't think that's chasing. I, I don't. I don't know where the fuck this this conversation was going to, but uh, yeah, I don't. That last one was a little, yeah, little rough. Thanks for dropping some knowledge, <laughs> DJ. Appreciate you. Uh, is that knowledge though? That's is, was that knowledge? I mean, I guess you asked a question. It was answered. I mean, yeah, anything constitutes as can constitute as, as a form of knowledge. Somebody said, "Why did the interest fall off, other girl?" Oh, cause she ugly. That's all. She's just ugly. On she, the inside, she was ugly when you met her. On the inside. Uh, you know, oh, okay. on the inside, that's all. Oh, you figured out who she was as yeah, a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's happened before. Oh. That's happened to me where I was, you know, seeing a chick and then, you know, turns out she was a little, you know, more Cruella DeVille, less, less Maleficent. You know what I mean? Right. And right. I'm like, ooh. I can see I can I'm see down that. with being evil, but bitch, you killing puppies. That's not. I can, uh, yeah, I can see that. That's not cool. I can see that. We're not trying to kill puppies, bitch. Yeah, we could take over a kingdom. We could plot and murder some people, but you start killing dogs, bitch. You wow. For for cold? So. That that comes down like to you not knowing who this individual was in the first place when you how, when you got how in the much place. of an individual do you think you should know before you get involved with somebody like that? See it, it I don't know. See that's a hard question. I have no clue. Really. Cause me, I've been I've been all over the spectrum. I had met abroad three hours in and we were involved. That's it. We in it. And then also there's been long term. I mean, it's not long for her. 
not long for me either. So I mean, it's long term. But that's what I, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't it's not long term. It depends on what her definition of long term is. Sometimes thirty minutes is long term. I don't know. Nah, bro, it's not long term nah, for me. Nah, it's three. Nah. It's three months long term or short term. Three months is a long time. Three months is a very long time. If you were a girl for three months, I'm gonna say you trying to make that's your girl for real. So like you are you making a long term investment? You said what? You you are oh, you you not making months? a long term investment? You not 90, making a long term investment? Ninety days? She just got you, off probation. But Dude. you not you not making a long term investment? No. I'm not. That's your girl for three months. I think six months is a. She's is not the even my girl. Long term investment. She not long-term. my girl. You, but you just you just said you you just said you with her though for three months. That don't. She with me. I'm not with her. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You got the game twisted, brother. You got the game all kind of twisted. Yo, yo. Listen, yo. we established at the beginning. This is the talking phase, man. We are talking that's, that's for ninety true. days until that ninety first day. You will be getting your evaluation. So, so you, so you not dating the chick no. for three months. First you're of all, the, I think I think the term dating is different for everybody. Some people will say that if you're in a relationship, you're dating. Some people will say if you're actively going out on dates with multiple people, that's dating. Um, I personally subscribe to that. I think if you're seeing multiple people and you're going out on dates, rather that be a relationship or not, that's actually dating. You're seeing somebody, or like they said in the nineties, you're kicking it. If we kick right. it, you're not my girlfriend. That's not what that is. Until we establish right. that conversation on your 91st day when you get that evaluation, <laughs> then then we can talk about a relationship. At that point, you can you can put down your likes, dislikes, and you know di- approvals and disapprovals and all this other stuff and all these stipulations to continue to be with me. Just like on your 92nd day, I'm going to tell you, I want, I expect this from you. I expect that, especially if we're going to go forward with an actual relationship. Now, some people extend that and and do like, you know, a six month, which I think is a little, that's a little long to be dating somebody, you know, actively taking them out on dates, whether you're seeing other people or not. I think, you know, that six months is a minute. That's half so a year. What, what would be what would be the difference in dating and talk? Because if you're talking to somebody like that, talking stage is what I was. I think about. I think the term is interchangeable. I think the term is 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 exactly the same. Because if 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 I'm dating a girl, that means I'm actively taking her out on dates. Yes, that's we right. can agree on that. Right. But yes. if I'm taking another girl out on a date, am I dating her too? Or are we just talking? Am I nah, entertaining y'all, conversation? You you. you 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 cheating, sir? <laughs> I'm cheating. We're not. You no. cheating, sir? No, you're not. You are definitely yes, not you, cheating. You no. you 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 with this? You First with all, the girl? Let me explain. So, this okay, to you. okay, okay. My term of dating, right? Yeah, yeah, my go my ahead, interpretation go ahead. of dating. If you dating a chick, like that's your girl. Like you you not just if you taking the chick on dates and stuff like that, and it's like y'all. Well, you could be talking, and you could still go at a restaurant and eat out with somebody. In the talk scene. So am I technically talking to my homegirl? Am I technically dating my homegirl whenever one of her boyfriends dogs her out, and so I, I I take her on a nice on a nice night, like it's a you know dinner and a movie type situation. We don't get physical no, or nothing. I, and I drop I her off at her house and go home. No, because I I think uh it it it's interpreted a different way. I guess I could say because uh-huh. it's like if you if if you're dating a chick, right? If you you say you dating a chick and she know what it is, because it's like. She got problems with the whole with the old dude or whatever. She know we can go chill. Uh-huh. Hold on, I'm trying to eat this booty so you, real quick. Yeah, so you you not date you that's not dating. You just you just somewhere with a friend or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's not but if you actively like there's a difference in like, I don't even know how to explain it. If you're actively um not in search, but if you're actively like in pursuit of a relationship and you taking the chick out, that's the type of dating that I'm talking about. So because you are now i'm trying to understand your definition because mine talking is dating on mine because i could talk i could be holding and entertaining conversations with a young woman for up to three months until we have that conversation that we are mutually exclusive or whatever type of arrangement that we have whether it be a relationship or not until we have that conversation we are just talking we are just dating that's it. We're going out Basically, on dates. Basically, what, what Tony just said is my is what, did what Tony he just say? said is my. He said you're making it too complicated. Dating implies both parties no agree to be exclusive. No, there's no such thing. 
No such thing. What? Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I disagree. I'm a, I, all of that is falsification. All of that. Because if we have a conversation about us being mutually exclusive and partaking in monogamy, that's different. That's, that's one thing. Then if we're talking at the beginning, you seeing people, I'm seeing people, we are, we are just talking. We are just talking. That's it. That's rather true. We, rather we go out on dates or not, you may go. That's true. She may go, you know, on a date or whatever. That's that's our our <laughs> talking dating period. She can do what she can do what she wants. You right. can do what you want. After right. that, once we have that conversation, you're my girlfriend. I'm your boyfriend. Now you're in a relationship. Relationship is 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 concrete. It's you and this other person. Rather that it may involve other people in polyamory or whatever, you know, like the definitions change depending on, you know, what, what your situation is. Like, I think that's just how it is. You know, you're, when you're seeing a girl, you're kicking it, you're talking, you're dating. That's what that is. All three of those definitions are the same thing. When you have that conversation, that's when you have a line. Now there's now a barrier Everything that was before that, all right, you cutting all these chicks off, blah 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 blah. We are in an exclusive relationship. That's what I. That's that's my personal. That's See, because my 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 definition of dating was what Tony said. Like, if you are exclusive to this individual, then that means y'all date. Right. So well, that's just what I thought. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I always have these conversations with a young lady when I'm talking to her. I'd be like, oh, so what's your definition of dating? What's your definition of like? You know relationships and blah 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 you know these are always important things to like talk about at the beginning so i mean you know it is uh it, you know sometimes it's not for everybody i've had some young ladies be like ah, i'm not really into that or whatever i'll be like all right that's cool bye bye i don't really mm. know you like that anyway so very true yeah especially because i try not to get like too invested in somebody that's not necessarily invested in me yet i mean that's not true because oh, sometimes Lord. you jump the you gun. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes yes. people jump the gun. Sometimes you jump the gun. Sometimes, you know, yeah. false start, flag on the play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you wild in a little bit. I need to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I need to. That's crazy. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, if you if you have the conversation about somebody like, hey, we're in a monogamous relationship, then then you're in a relationship. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the cutoff point. That's the starting line for this new part of the race. You see what I mean? Right. So, everything before that is like dating. You're seeing each other. You're kicking, kicking it. Like it's it's fairly simple. So other people may have you know different definitions. Not everybody's gonna agree with the same definition that I have. But I guarantee you, if you're seeing me, we have the same definition, if not it's similar. So you know, it is what it is. But that's probably why it makes so many women laugh, and they be like, "Oh, Jay Sama, ooh, let me." Let me spend time with you and i'll be like nah i don't really i don't really know you like that that's why whenever i'm like talking to you guys about like oh yeah you know i met this person yada 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 whatever and this is what she's talking about because I, I think there was one girl she's she hit me with a 50 cent line i put it in the discord the other day she said uh she hit me with the 21 questions line <laughs> she said if i wrote you a love letter would you write back <laughs> I said, what did I say? I said, um, the late, the the great Curtis 50 Cent Jackson once said, <laughs> if I wrote you a love letter, would you write back? If, uh, uh, let's see, uh, you know, we can go and get a drink, you know, a nightcap and we can go and do what you like. I know you like that. And she just like heart emojis all over. I was like, bro, this is too easy. This is too easy. Just, you just got like the entry point is always easy for me. It's keeping them around. That has always been very difficult for me. Because even the girl I'm seeing now is just like, I mean, we match on a lot of stuff, but we don't. But if I keep her laughing, she she ignore everything else. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> she don't really give a damn. And you know what's funny? That applies to all of them. <laughs> uh, so, you know, just I think you just got to be funny, man. Um I think or funnier the, in DJ's case. Yeah, funnier, funnier than DJ and funnier than Darth. That's it. You just got to be funnier. Wow, sheesh. That's it. Y'all just don't study the craft, man. Like, I grew up watching comics every single day, every single night. Like, this is just something I did in my house. My parents wanted me to be a comedian. Like, 
They just knew that that's what I was going to do. Yet here I am making shitty YouTube videos 10 years later. So, you know, being funny for free, being funny for free. No, my, right? my so, problem you know. like back in the day was I, I just I just didn't talk to him. You like, didn't talk I, to him. It was just nope. You realize they were people, right? Women yeah, were, at one point in time, no, women it's, were it's people. Not cause, it's not because I was scared or something like that. It's just I didn't. It sounds okay. weird, I know. That's I, I literally, like, I just wouldn't. Man, let me it's tell like, you. It's like, oh, that's cool. I don't care. Your boy, I, it's like, yeah, yeah, I really don't care. Your boy was in school. because you were too I, busy playing MGM. I wasn't trying to talk that, to no niggas. So. No, 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 not like, no, 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 no. Not, not that type of time. I ain't on uh. that type of time. But it's literally just <laughs> like, I I would not. I just wouldn't, bro. Sound to me like wouldn't. you wasted your school time. You must have been trying to get an education. A lot, a Fuck lot of that. girls that I found out like had interest was after, after I got out of school, and oh, I was like, like, "Dad, yeah, nah." All these missed opportunities, bro. So, would you say I'm kind of gonna piggy piggyback off of what Tony said in the chat? Would you say like you didn't have that many female friends, or like how did how did that work? No, I I did, I did. It's just like maybe it was a confidence thing. Go maybe ahead. Go ahead. Take a, take a take a take a minute. Take a minute. Go maybe, ahead. Use maybe this as your it, therapy maybe session. it was a confidence thing. Maybe maybe it was. I don't think I could pull this chick. Wow. Maybe that's funny. what it was in school. No, no, no. Because mm. they would be laughing, but I. They'd be laughing I, at you. I just really no 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 mm, no. They not be, with you. They be <laughs> they be laughing with me. Oh oh. I could never. Mm. Like this, I I really I remember this like it was yesterday. I was in class and I a girl got Do put tell. out of class because she was laughing at what I was saying mm -hmm. so hard. So right. it's like I could make people laugh, yeah. but like uh, it was just like I just didn't think, yo, I can I can pull this chick. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was a confidence thing. I don't so know. you were a bitch. No pussy, because that's you right now. So. Folded, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm just saying so. You know, I've never had that problem. I used to, I, there was never, maybe not till I was an adult, did I would like look at a woman and be like, yo, I have no chance. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought that. Probably because my I mean, goal, I, didn't, I didn't talk, I didn't talk to him like that. So therefore I was like, you know, I don't, it's whatever. Like, mm. I'm, I don't think that it's whatever. She, I don't, I got, I'm not pulling that. I started feeling that way maybe around high school. I said, I'm not really trying to. I'm not really trying to smash unless I can make this chick laugh. And I knew once I made him laugh, I said that was it. I knew that was the path. I said the draws is mine. They were, they belonged to me. It was the that. panty raid. Yes, GTV. sir. The panty GTV. raid was already descending upon these women, you know? And the great Kanye West once said, anything that you want in life is already yours. It's already yours. That's it. You just gotta manifest the ability to take it. Point, you listening? Come on, man. Okay. Now I'm listening. In high school, I wasn't. I didn't need to get no draws. I just needed you to imply that I was getting draws because I knew if you was laughing at my jokes hours later after first period, second period, and shit, Jared said the funniest thing. Jay said some hilarious shit this morning, and they got boyfriends. Oh. Best breed. <laughs> and see, in high school, I was a different breed, though. I was like, I was with the rah rah. You know what I mean? Like, I was, mm. I was just that, I was just that dude. Wildin'. Yeah. Wild. Man, yo. And now that I'm, now that I'm approaching thirty, man, yo, I really is just like, I, I really used to rep the streets like that. And I could not believe that, at one point in time, I was just doing some of the shit I was doing out here. And so it's, it's baffling to me because. How was that nigga broke doing so goddamn much? I don't understand. Cause as an adult with with the with with money coming in, consistent money, I find myself not having nearly as much adventures as I did when I was young and broke. How? You know what's crazy? Cause you be seeing, and then like going back to the girls thing is like you be seeing a lot of people that's like down bad for real, but they be smashing. A plethora, a pl a, how you say this word? Plethora. A plethora. Plethora. Thank you. A uh, plethora. <laughs> they be smashing a, a plethora of like of individuals. So it's like I be looking like what what is what is the interest? Tony asked, uh, "Did you not think that you are attractive?" 
Um, he said once he hit high school, he lost weight and gained confidence and started pulling girls. Yeah, but Tony cheats. He carries that around it, rope. Don't listen to him. Wow. He carries around rope because he just built like that. Wow. Yes, sir. My boy built like that. He said. He wow. said. You don't gotta. You don't gotta get ready if you stay ready. Um, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think that might have played a part of it into like the whole confidence thing. So probably, mm. maybe it was a mixture of that. Like maybe that's why I thought I couldn't. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I didn't try. Mm. But I, I, it might have been that. It might have been that. Maybe I, didn't I think just I was... thought I was an ugly duckling. Like, like Plank be saying, he think he, he think he ugly. No, I don't so think. I'll, that's up for y'all to decide. It ain't about me. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't about me to talk about this man's appearance. But well, I will. I leveled I will. up slightly after high school. So. Oh, so you, you, so, so he ugly, Jay? Hell I'm yeah. Still ugly. Oh yeah, yeah. Atrocious. Oh, yeah, ugly Atrocious. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. That's great. I actually have to it's block this part of the podcast out. Which is why I'm glad he's down there in the bottom section because yeah. then I could just cover mm. up his shit. You know what I mean? So thank God. But um, you know, drowning your confidence. I've never don't let I, those shine your light, King. I've don't never really thought down. I was ugly. I just always thought I was never funny enough. That was it. That was the only confidence issues I've ever had. Was like, I never really was like, oh, that girl's not gonna get with me because of the way I look, or you know, because of the way maybe the way I dress. I was a little self conscious about the way I dress because I didn't buy my own clothes at that time. And it was, it was more so like my ex girlfriend called said says I was wearing baggy daddies, which is basically like the lean with it, rock with it time period. Where we had mm. giant white tees and, and baggy jeans and shit like that. Like that's that's what I fucking used to look like. So it was it was just a weird time period. Like it was just all weird, and it's a blur to me. And like this is why I don't talk to people from high school because they'll remind they'll try to treat me the way that they remember treating me back then and mm. i'm not about mm. that shit no more so it's very interesting because some of like some of the girls and stuff that i used to talk to they have like kids now or whatever and they think i'm hitting on them whenever i tell them a joke through instagram or something like that first of all bitch you commented on my on my story you commented on my photo you comment you sent me a dm shit like that wait till your boyfriend find out what you've been doing okay it don't matter what wow. you said it's the action that you did it okay you shot your shot first <laughs> dumb hoe so <laughs> you must got the game all kind of twisted you showed up here i did not come to you i made comment you know i see like your son has a birthday so i'll leave you know birthday emoji happy birthday whatever the hell your kid's name is you know whatever no problem mm. then all of a sudden you can't just be in my dms talking about oh i've been fucked in so long like oh what was me <laughs> like like i'm still your friend from high school bitch i will fuck you and not talk to you again that's a fact. You got the wrong fucking one. You you must That's think you got you got me twisted, bitch. <laughs> Come on now. Don't I, this is also why I say I can't have clout. I can't. I couldn't imagine me with clout. I would I would do unsensical, nonsensical things. You know what I mean? Like my I would go dumb all the fucking time. <laughs> all of the time, bro. I'd be blowing money on dumb shit. <laughs> I'll be sending Isn't bitches wild, cubic bro. zirconium bracelets and shit talking about, yeah, baby, these diamonds. And then post <laughs> post you on Instagram talking about, look at this dumb hell. <laughs> look, her dumb ass thought these cubic zirconiums were diamonds. Look at her dumb ass. So Bruh. I would just do stuff like that, bro. I would really be wildly. Like, I just could not, I could not imagine me being actually financially or like, you know, successful. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it, which is why I'm funny for free. Mm. Nobody listens to the guy at the bottom. For what? He ain't got no money. That nigga broke. So, you know, I don't mind it, but I kind of do. So, it is what it is. I don't yeah, know what. Now, I don't know where now I was it's going. like, now I'm, I'm like, uh, I don't know what I've been doing, but now it's like I feel probably more confident <laughs> of like what I'm doing. So, uh, Tony said I feel he like, might have like to... this, I think I can pull whatever I want to pull. You oh, feel that wow. way now. Yeah, you feel that way now because you got a lady on you. I heard you was talking to some lady. Who are you talking to? Who mama are you talking to? Who? Who? I heard you was talking to somebody, mama. <laughs> That's what I heard. Somebody, I heard somebody it in the mama. chat. I heard it in the chat the other day when I was in your talking Discord. Somebody mama. When I was in when your I, Discord. When you was in my Discord. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said mama. you was talking to somebody, mama. Somebody, oh, mama. Lord. Somebody's mama. Somebody's mother. Oh, that ain't me. That wasn't you? That ain't me. 
That's not what that I heard. That is not me. That's not what I heard. I ain't smashing. I don't, uh, nah, would I smash somebody? Whoa, whoa, smash. Hold on. <laughs> we didn't say that. You, you incriminating yourself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We said talking. You was talking to somebody, mama. Who mama you smashing, DJ? I'm not smashing nobody, mama. Uh, I'm just <laughs> hypothetically speaking. So the lady you smashing, is she a mother? Yes or no? I'm not. I'm. I'm. Not, I'm. I'm a virgin. You on one player mode right now. <laughs> right now. Listen, I'm not smashing man, a thing. This man did incriminate himself. Ooh. I'm not smashing nothing. Ooh. How many kids you got? Yeah, just, how many kids you got? You can tell us. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Hold know on. I'll mute the pod, I'll mute the podcast right now. Let me mute the podcast. I don't. I literally. I literally don't know what y'all talking about. All right, DJ. I muted the podcast. I don't how know many what kids you got? I don't know what y'all talking about. So three. I saw you signal. I saw you sit there. I saw you go like this. She got three what? kids. I saw you no, do it just no, now. You didn't see, you just didn't now. See, no, I saw you, you do it. No, you didn't. Oh, no, you man. Didn't. You ain't. Woo. You nah, wild. You wild. I mean, I mean, you know, I've been streaming. I mean, you think I'd be streaming this much if I was talking to somebody, mom? Yeah. yeah. You don't even stream wow. that much. She, she got a nine to five. That's She's not trying to talk true. to you in between the hours of 9 a.m. and noon. That's very She true. got work she got to catch up on. What the hell? You're selfish, bro. You selfish. How dare you try to take up this woman's time? She's a yeah, bringer of life. With three that kids. That yeah. Wasn't the best She's, She's that a wasn't bringer the best of life. life. And you over here trying to waste her office time. Man, you, you that wrong. Was, that wasn't the best example. No wonder I, how I'm not smashing you. nobody, mama. That's crazy. I'm not, I'm not talking to nobody, mama. I ain't smashing nobody, mama. My man Tony said, he said, I have to move. <laughs> I have to move back to L.A. and move in with Jay to make sure he's not doing dumb shit. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I've been doing. Tony. Wait till you find out, yo, you gonna be so mad at me when I tell you uh, this story of unrelevant uh, things that's going on. Um, I gotta hear this. Yo, it's, he knows. Tony knows. If he found out, he'd actually fly out here and beat my ass. I'm not <laughs> smashing nobody out. with three kids. He'd be like, what I'm is there, wrong with you? Nobody has three kids. Why did you pick her? And I'd be like, yo, she picked me. I don't know what you're talking about. She had money. I'm not talking. I'm not. Ain't no. Ain't no three kids in my scenario. Man. Yeah, you gave it up, bro. You gave it up. It's all good. There is no. I'm not. Yeah, you okay. the John Cena. Yeah, you right. did. No, I was just third moving. You already know. Uh, anyway, let me stop. Uh, yeah. That's not me no more. Um. Anyway, I think we got one more. I think we tackled the last question. We only had a couple. Darth is the only person who participated, which is very interesting, because people always be Jay. You should talk about this for the podcast. You should do this. You should do that. Yo, y'all, y'all, y'all want to? You, you want to ask somebody live? They got questions. Yeah, you guys want to uh, throw some throw some questions in the chat. Uh, y'all got y'all got some, some questions. Yeah, Stream yo. chat. Questions, comments, concerns. Um, uh, not every. I mean, if it's incriminating, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, one other question we got. What are your thoughts on Invincible? Uh, DJ, did you see Invincible? That's right. You were trying to watch it with me. Oh my God. I watched it with Plank one night. Yeah, you the left that night, watched. and we watched the whole show. We watched all eight episodes. Without yeah, you. we watched it all. Yeah, we tried to wait fifteen minutes, but you know, I didn't feel like waiting any longer. I had to watch it, and then I watched it again when I watched it with another person. I watched it with another person, and we watched the whole thing all the way through. You watched it with a friend. Yes, I watched it with a friend. Yes, that they came and hung out you know they came yeah, yeah. it was the homie yeah, it was, yeah the homie. it was the homie big homie big big homie yeah so, <laughs> you're og if you will yeah yeah so three kids goddamn <laughs> yeah. dj smashing hard all of them are his kids nah dj ain't got no kids yeah dj, DJ ain't got no kids yeah nah he got a narrow urethra no, he kids, can't no, no kids. kids so B- dj about to pump out a fourth one real quick yikes y'all is so disrespectful to my man no kids bro. that's crazy uh, the question is for DJ. Does that mom have mommy milkers? That is a good question. DJ, would you there like to enlighten no us? There is no mom. There is no mom. That's not what he asked you. He asked you, does she have there's, mommy milkers? There is no mom, but there is no scenario where... That is not what he where... asked you. He asked, does she have mommy milkers? Yes, yes or, no. or no. There is no... It's a simple no, yes or okay. no question. Look at you. But there's, I can't answer it because there's no scenario. Yes, man. Thank there's you. No where a, where a woman. mother, where somebody mother is present. That's not the question. Does she have mommy milkers? Yes or no. This is incriminating. Uh huh. Look at you. Look at your ass. <laughs> Look at your ass. Yo, I, I really see, don't. I you don't, a shady I don't motherfucker. Know. You I, real I shady. <laughs> you shady motherfucker. That's crazy. I, <laughs> That is nasty. Asking the real questions here. Exactly. 
there, no, my there's no there's no mom. There's there's no there's no. Uh -huh. I'm I'm yeah, just here. Say so. It I'm just be me and my either. lights, bro. Uh huh. I'm not a father either. Allegedly. That's it. Allegedly. <laughs> so, can't prove it. Can't prove it. Oh. Uh, Oh, there was this okay. one ex-girlfriend that that hit me up like we had hooked up and then like a year later she she like suddenly had a kid i was like whose child is this what the fuck she's like no it wasn't you i was like oh okay she's like yeah it's it i mean i was cheating but like bro you know it's yeah. not yours it's not yours i, res I respect so, the honesty yeah i mean I don't I know. Every time respect. I look at her kid, her kid's a little too ugly to be mine anyway. So it just doesn't have any of my chiseled features. You know what I mean? Like, it's usually in the nose, the eyes. And I got a giant fucking nose, bro. And tiny ears. She ain't have none of those. Her child is a niglet, though. Her child is definitely. But I've also seen the child's father. And he is equally as ugly as the child. So I just okay, want to. So, right. Tony, I didn't, right. I didn't do it. I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. My child would come out, you know, velvet, chocolate looking, smooth, caramel. You know what I mean? You ever seen somebody try to compliment a baby and they'd be like, man, that baby look just like that daddy. And then you see the daddy and it's like, <laughs> shade, I see bro. why you didn't think Absolute that was a beautiful shade. Baby. Yo, that's crazy. Like, I, Honestly, I, I think we need to normalize saying babies are ugly. Just go ahead and let, let the parents know, sorry, your baby is ugly. It's, it, it is what it is, man. Not all babies are cute. They can't. They can't be. It's impossible. Especially if you know, you look at the parents and you're like, oh, you know this bitch gonna grow up ugly. She gonna have some hard times out there on the playground. Uh-uh. You Cynthia, duck! Boom! Oh, it looked like wow. you already got hit. Like, you know what I mean? Wow. So, that's not me. That's not... I was, I was not that kid. I mean, I was, but... Anyway, I'm pulling up... <laughs> I'm pulling up recessed trauma. You know, there was this one girl I did hit in the face... Her name was Cynthia. Damn. She was a dark-skinned girl with pigtails. She kicked me in my balls. And so the next day when we were out at the at, at the lunch yard, I hit her with a dodgeball. Wham! Right in the face. I said, duck, after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never sick. forget it. I said, Cynthia, and she turned around. Wham! Duck! <laughs> I was a cruel child, man. I was cruel. You did, did you not want to fuck anime with me. Said about the grilled cheese, what she, what's she say about the grilled cheese? What'd she say? Uh, about the grilled cheese in the air fryer? What'd she say? No, is no, Deacon up. okay? He got caught up with some stuff? Um, Yeah, we don't know where Deacon is. I haven't talked to him today, but I, I DM'd him, so I'm going to go and see him in a couple of weeks. Um, yes, Morse code. I got the answer. <laughs> Uh, let's see. DJ about to be offset, looking like the father of four. I ain't even got one yet. Darth really just be having jokes that aren't funny, but they hurt. Like, wow. he loved to wow. do that, man. Ever since he started he's, hanging he's out. He shot you in the process. That I'm is that. crazy. I that. So I tried a, she said, I tried a three ways. Y'all talking about, and I will say that oven grilled cheese wasn't it. I had one of them with slap your mama seasoning, and that shit fucked up my stomach. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I first started reading that, I thought she said she had a three way, and I was like, oh. "See, I thought she said that too." And I just, I, see, I it, it regained its footing. It yeah, regained its footing. Now that I read it out loud with the context but of grilled see, cheese, um, the grilled cheese probably why it wasn't good for you in the oven. First of all. Ain't nobody tell you put a slap, slap your mama on that on that grilled cheese. I because I don't. That doesn't no even sound like something on. you would even. It, exactly, and maybe some person, pepper, some black pepper. That's, maybe, 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 yeah. Maybe. Grilled cheese is not something that needs seasoning unless you don't need no type just, of exactly. It's gotta it's just, already it's just, be in the cheese, like pepper jack. You know, fucking uh, the white cheddar. Maybe you add yep. more than one cheese. That cheese should maybe. be your seasoning for cheese. Why would you? I don't understand. I don't know who told you to put slap your mama on, on your grilled cheese. I know somebody in my chat did it. I know they put the slap your mama on, but this person is probably not used to seasoning their food. If wow. you get my drift. But anyways, uh I just yeah. think you should you should not have put that slap your mama on that grilled cheese. That's yeah, no, that ain't it. I can tell y'all my story about my first threes. You said what? 
Who said that? <laughs> this is not their podcast. Anime. Y'all need to go talk. You can oh, talk about that crazy. on your own podcast. You I said what? T- what? Yeah, no. I've after. never had one of those. That sounds like after. multiple sins at once. After, after. I'm interested. So, <laughs> um, this man, DJ is down bad. God damn. Sicko. DJ, you put your waffles in the oven? I don't want to hear it. Yikes. Yikes. Eesh. Oh, my God. He hasn't tried it, so I don't even. Ne- next, next subject. That's crazy. Next she, subject. She must have not heard you. Nah, she didn't. She didn't, Tony. I don't mind saying shit about someone's child. Yeah, me neither. Obviously. <laughs> I told. The first time I ever did that was to my sister's child. I said, oh, she kind of ugly, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> And it was through FaceTime. So does she look like the sister? Probably, or does yeah, she, she does. Look she like looks like my sister. Yeah, 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 for sure. For That's sure. terrible. Um, that is terrible. And you know what's funny is my sister's related to me. So, and you know what's funny? Anytime I ever see a picture of me and my sister side by side, you would think we were twins. Except she's got lighter features than I do. Uh, but yeah, my sister, uh, yeah, for sure. Wow. What? I don't. Why you? Why you acting surprised? Like you? Like your sister ain't related to you? <laughs> we have the same dad. That's what I'm trying to understand. Yeah, but her mama ugly too, so you know but it you, is what but, it is. I, My mom's not. I came out. I came out beautiful, so I'm good. I don't gotta worry about it. No, nah, my my sister. She she stole all of those jeans when she was born, so it's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah I I got like the ugly part of the jean, and then she got the. I feel. I'm about that. to I'm about to stun on people jeans. Yeah, I got so, the same gene. Yeah. When they see when they see her, they be like, "That's your sister." Like no. I'm just, you like, just I'm go. Just... Not related. People be like, "Wow, I thought she'd be ugly," and I'm just looking like, <laughs> "Yo!" I be wanting to fight. I be wanting to throw hands. I be wanting to fight. Just but then you look up. back at your sister and you be like, "They kind of had a point." No, I just no. I don't. I don't talk to her for like a week. And then oh. I get over it. And... Yeah, I usually only talk to my sister maybe once every six months. Cause oh. yeah, her and her family live in in the Bay Area, so I don't. I just, I mean, me and my siblings like aren't like we're close, but we're not like close, close. You know what I mean? Like I probably talk to my both of my brothers maybe like once every month, once a month, twice a month, maybe if that. My the problem is my two younger brothers don't know how to keep cell phones working. That's a real problem. Them niggas can never How young we talking? Um, my youngest brother is th- four years younger than me. Okay, so they got he's twenty six. Yeah, so one is twenty. I thought you were gonna be 26. talking about like somebody that's like sixteen that don't know how to. No, no, no. no. Even if they're, with, I mean, okay. yeah, no, them niggas couldn't keep the bill on. They couldn't keep the okay. bill paid. So you know they be changing phone numbers every couple of weeks. So it's hard to track them motherfuckers down. So, but uh, let me see what else we got here. Anybody else got any questions they want to throw in the chat before I just give up on all hope? My little brother is an asshole. Like, he will start shit and then not have the balls to end it. You mean, like, end your life? <laughs> because no. when you say end it, what does that mean? I think I think you took that little over. No, squ- squash the beef. Squash the oh, beef. Oh, squash the beef. He this said end it. He, he went straight to check out. Just... Don't start nothing you don't want to finish. That's all I'm saying. Won't start. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. That's all I got to say. My brothers know. I used to. Ooh, we. Me and my brothers used to get down. We used to go in the den and just just box. That was it. Then my youngest brother, when he would lose, he'd be like, Dad, Jared hit me. I said, I hit you again. You call that motherfucker. So Wow. And then next thing you know, my dad come down the stairs. Boy, I'm about to beat your ass. And then next thing you know, I'm, I'm it's just me and my dad rumbling in the den. So, and see, my dad liked to push people. So we end up outside. And I like to cheat. I like to cheat because we had this big ass tree in the backyard. And I would grab a stick, and ninja. So <laughs> it was. I fight, I don't fight fair. He know. I do not fight fair. My father knows. So, but you know, we over it now. We cool. So we cool. We cool. Anyway, my dart said my cousin ugly as fuck too. <laughs> She's the closest thing to a sister. Yikes. Oh, uh, my first fight I ever got in was very quick. Oh yeah, in, in a good way. Oh, in a good way. Ah, oh, you won. Okay, lucky. Yeah, it was very yeah, quick. Look at it you. was very quick. That's I was on the playground. Down. It was it was elementary school. I literally, I legit remember this. Uh, my sister was sitting on the swing, and it was some dude by the swing. Right? Okay. 
I'm by the slides. Like the swing is over here on this side, and the uh -huh. slides is over here on this side. So I'm on this side of the playground. My sister's on that side of the playground. Dude comes running over to me. My one of my friends comes running over to me. Yo, somebody just hit your sister. I'm like, what? He's like, somebody just hit your sister. So I go over to the slides or the swings, and I see that she she bleeding in her face. I see somebody in the hit, and the dude is standing over her. And I blacked out. Next thing I know, I'm sitting in the press office. And he has a knob in his head. This it was it was very fast. Yeah. It was very fast. So that, wow. that was my first fight. This man said, I'm going I'm going Hulk. I'm going Hulk Pretty much. real quick. Pretty much. Hold my, much. hold my book back. I, literally, I legitimately had to ask somebody what happened. And it, and it was like, yo, you went crazy. Hold my copy, a copy of the It was that door. bad. That's crazy. He said, Thomas yeah. the Train said, what? Um, let me see. Don't you dare. It ain't, it, that's, that's nothing like a disorder or nothing. Don't nobody, nobody has to worry. I don't have no disorder where I just black out and go rogue. It's just, hey, man. No, nah, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Like somebody, when somebody hit your sister, it's, you like, you, it's over with. I've had way too many fights to remember the first one. I can't. That's like, I must have been like four or something. Because I remember there was the twins in third grade. So there was definitely one before that. I got kicked out of school in the second grade. The I second just, grade? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so when I used to live in Long Beach, there was like a bunch of different charter schools and stuff. My mom sent me to one. And I remember getting in so much trouble in the second grade. I don't remember what I did, but they had to move me schools. And it happened again in the fifth grade because I used to get into, into fights all the time at school. I remember I wanted to fight a teacher when I was in the fifth grade and I hit the teacher with a chair. That's how about yeah. it I was. I was ready for some shit. I was ready for some action. Okay? And let's see. So got... you was on the bus. No, not on the was... bus. You, Dude, this you... was in the no, classroom. No, 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 no. I know. Not not the chair incident. Not the chair incident. I know that where are you gonna throw a teacher? Where are you gonna throw a chair at teacher at other than classroom? Like, oh, I, outside. I outside. Teacher can catch it anywhere. The anywhere. bench? You the bench? the bench at the teacher. Bruh, I tried. I tried, bro. <laughs> so you, so you came to school on the bus, right? No, my mom dropped me. Or oh, you was dropped off. You yeah, was, yeah, dropped, was off? dropped off. Okay. Dropped so because I came, I would go to a school on the bus, right? Okay. And then when I would get there, it was this other bus, right? That would pull up and take a set group of students to another building, and I, I used to think that was jail. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I, I swear, I thought it was jail. Like they they literally get locked up for eight hours and they come back home and, go, and they come back to the school and go home. But it turns out that that was like the school where like people that get in trouble uh -huh. would go to. So they had like a, a it wasn't like a, a in home suspension type of program, but they had like a school where if you got in trouble at this school, you sure too there much, wasn't like remedial? you would go. No, no, because. I knew some of the people and they was troublemakers. So the that term for that is so, is continuation school. That's the term. That's for it. not what they called it where I was at. Maybe oh. it was prison. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, please go on, I go swear. on, go on. I'm listening. I'm good. I'm listening. No, I know. I was asking you if that was where you went. Nah, nah. The bad school. Nah. Okay. Nah, All I right. went to a regular, I just wanted to understand. I went to a regular school. The only time I ever went to a continuation school was in. Uh, a couple of times in middle school they when they had they didn't do on campus suspension is what it was called where you stayed out of all of your classes and you hung around like the maintenance people and you picked up trash around like those are that's what what in school suspension was before they had that they had entire detention centers that they would take i actually now that i think about it yeah so it was basically like when you would be in school right after school you would sit in detention they had entire facilities that they would take kids to. So maybe that was yes. it. Maybe yes. that was it. But this would happen when I was in school. They would do it like you would spend your school day there. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it was like, we don't have to deal with you. We're going to send you here and yeah. you go to school there and then we're going to come back. Y'all probably had one on campus. I had to go to one that was like, I would show up to school, right? And then a faculty member would come and have to escort me to a to a van that goes to the to, to the, the bus to the bus yeah to yeah, the yeah. bus yeah yeah and then so they yep. would take you to and you would stand in the line depending on what school you were from so they had like a a, a line 
with a sign up front, you know, from yada 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 middle school or whatever, or yada yada. And yada, it was yada. like it was like three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we had like yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. Because the oh, okay. size the size of the the place that we were in was a warehouse, mm-hmm. and and like you sat in a specific row. There was like eight or nine rows of kids, right? And each row had like twenty or thirty desks, and you would sit in whatever row your school was a part of, and you'd be there all day. And then at the end of the day, come like three o'clock, three thirty, or whatever, when it's time to get out of school. They would call you based upon your school. They would call your name. You would hop back on the van, and they would take you back to the school. Yep. So, so the, the that's what happened at my school. The bus will pull up earlier than we leave. That's crazy. They'll I was one of those kids. Yeah. That happened yep. multiple years. So, and then I got into some trouble with the law. But you know, we don't we don't need to talk about that. So you know, apparently hitting a teacher with a chair is not legal in certain states. So you know. Mm. It is what it is, but you know I've been like that forever, so I think I think this is enough. I think this is enough for one day. <laughs> I definitely think this is enough for one day. Oh, we didn't talk about Invincible. Uh, good show, nine out of ten. Yeah, great show. Yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have nothing to say because DJ hasn't seen it yet. So yeah. Uh, also, abusive dads are great. I just want to say that abusive dads are great. They make great heroes. So. But with that being said, um, that's going to conclude today's podcast. Did you guys have a good time today? Had a great time. I was very, I was way more talkative today than I usually am. You know what? Yeah, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised at you, sir. Yeah, me too. Me too. You really love Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to level myself up. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my healthy stuff now. You know what I'm saying? I've been on dieting for like a month. It's been working, so. What do you mean? What you, what, yeah, thank you. Clap. Thank you. Thank you. What was the eye roll? Nothing. I'm doing just, my thing. I mean, nothing. I was just looking. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was just looking. You know, I, I, don't, I lost like 15 pounds already, so I'm good. Oh shit. Yeah. Are you, you drinking more water too, or? It's, I ain't drinking nothing but water. Oh, okay. I feel you. Yeah, I, yeah I've never water, really water been like water's a literally soda the only anyway, so. thing I'm drinking. Yeah, soda's, yeah. soda's disgusting. So I can't remember what Kool Aid tastes like, and I'm kind of sad. Just get the just get Crystal Lake from the from the grocery store. They have uh, zero sugar, and it's just flavoring. That's all it is. So okay. You can do that. I might, yeah, because I ain't, I ain't had nothing with the taste on it in fact. Yeah. So, but um, anyway, guys, that's gonna conclude today's episode of the podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, obviously, you can find all of these on uh, your favorite streaming platforms, from Apple to Spotify, or even on YouTube. Uh, so you guys can go and check those out. Uh, everybody's links will be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for listening. We will catch you next time. Make sure to keep it canon.